Hello, so today we will be making a very lovely raspberry and lemon bam trifle. So this is a Nigella recipe, it's one I've used before, it's very nice. You can use lemongrass if you can't get your hands on any lemon bam, but luckily I can get my hands on some, so I have some lemon bam. Um, usually you'll only find it if you have a garden, if you're growing it yourself, you don't really find it in the shops. But you should be able to find lemongrass easily enough. But anyway, so for this trifle, I'm actually making two today, so I have double all these ingredients. First of all, you will need 600 ml of water, so I'm not going to show you water because you know what that looks like. 600 ml of water. You'll need 400 grams of caster sugar. I have this massive bag of caster sugar because I'm making two trifles. Um, next thing you will need is uh, 50 grams or three to four stalks of lemongrass or the equivalent of lemon balm. So I just have like a handful because this stuff is pretty strong. And yeah, just like this, this handful size is plenty. The next thing you'll need is 300 grams of raspberries. So I just have a little tub from Asda, which luckily enough is 300 grams. So I have two of these, obviously. I did make this with strawberries a couple of weeks ago and it works just as well. You'll need 16 trifle sponges. Now you'll only need 16 if you get the little skinny ones. I have these ones here. Um, I'm not sponsored by Asda at all, but these are the ones I have. So there's eight in here, and these are quite big. In fact, I have a couple out of the package from the last time. Um, so, like, yeah, if you get ones that are like half this size, like the little skinny ones, then you'd probably need um, 16. But, yeah, I'm probably just going to use, well, I have 10, so I'm just going to use five in each trifle, which is more than enough because these are big. Now, you can add... Um, alcohol to this. It says add three to four tablespoons of vodka if you want. I'm not going to do that because the people who I'm bringing it to don't all drink. So um, yeah, I'm not putting any vodka in that, but you can do. You'll need 600 ml of single cream. So single cream tends to come in this big tub here, which is 600 ml already. 600 ml single cream. Again, I have two of those. And I'll need 500 ml of double cream. So again, I just have the 600 ml um, tub. And to be honest, I just use 600 ml rather than 500 because um, there's no point in keeping like 100 ml of it. Anyway, um, and then you'll need eight large egg yolks. So I have a couple of cartons of eggs. Um, and you'll have a lot of egg white left after this. You can obviously make a meringue with it. If you want, what I did the last time was just made lots of scrambled egg whites uh, for the animals. The first thing that you want to do is make a syrup. So you're going to make a syrup to soak um, your sponges in and the syrup's going to have the raspberries through it as well. So this is going to be a lemongrass or lemon balm syrup. So to make your syrup you need 600 ml of water and 325 grams of castor sugar. So you put that in a in a saucepan and bring that to the boil, then let it boil for five minutes. Then you take the pan off the heat, add in your lemongrass or lemon balm and let it sit to the side for about half an hour. So this is my 600 ml of water in my pan and I'm just going to add 325 grams of castor sugar in a big pile. And then I'm going to turn up the heat, let that come to a boil and let it boil for five minutes. Oh, it looks it's like a little volcano in there. So while that's boiling away, I have started the five minute timer now. Um, all I've done is just rinse this lemon balm. I started to take the leaves off of the stalks, but then I just kind of gave up and just gave it a good rinse so you could sit and take all the leaves off the stalks if you fancied it but I am keeping mine like this it is all clean and it smells really good um, I meant to say as well I decided to like add a little kind of fun decoration to the trifles this time and I bought some rainbow hundreds and thousands to put on top because why not it's fun so that is bubbling up nicely now and when that's all bubbled up and it has been sitting with the lemon balm in it for about half an hour then I'm going to strain it into a measuring jug 
and then um, we can use some of that to make the nice kind of raspberry jam like substance that is going to be sitting in the bottom of the trifle soaking all into those trifle sponges and being and delicious oh it smells so good I have to taste one just to make sure that they're not poison mm. Mm. they're not poison they're really good Ah, mm. <sighs> all right how long have we got 14 seconds I think we can probably turn off the timer and take that off the heat timer is done syrup has been taken off the heat let's just dump in this lemon balm that was really close all right so this is what the syrup should look like just nice clear liquid and um, it shouldn't be really thick and like caramelly or anything it just look kind of like gloopy water a little bit. So I'm just going to dump in the lemon balm and um, yeah, just let that sit for half an hour. Okay, so what you want to do next is strain that syrup, that sugar water syrup stuff, any whatever it's called, into a measuring jug, and then the lemon balm or lemongrass that you strain out of it, you put back into the empty pot. next is take about 200 mils of that syrup so it's in here kind of yellowish colored now because it's infused obviously with the lemon balm it does look a bit like pee but it's not I promise um yes yeah, so you put about 200 mils of that into another pan and then you just want to add all of your raspberries then you bring that up to excuse me bring that up to a rolling boil and then you want to kind of just mash the raspberries down and try and get it to kind of jam like consistency and um, yeah, it's just going to taste and smell really good. 300 grams ish of raspberry switch brown. So I'm just going to dump these into the pan and um, mush them all up. Then you want to take that off the heat and then grab your trifle sponges. I'm just going to start with these two. And you want to dunk those in. Now be careful with your fingers. Obviously this is very, very hot. You can let it cool slightly or you can just use a fork to flip them over, which is what I'm going to do because I'm impatient. So you just dump those in. Let them kind of soak up some of some of the raspberry-ness. And then just layer them in the bottom of your bowl. Um, and pour the rest of the raspberry syrup on top. If you feel like your sponges have absorbed a bit more than you were expecting, you can add up to about 100 mils of that um, syrup that we made, just to kind of help get them all nice and squishy and juicy. So, time to stack these in the bowl. just have these soaking in here a little bit and then I'm just going to flip them with a spoon and let the other side get a bit kind of squishy. I'm not going to add any extra syrup to my sponges um, because I think there's plenty of liquid here. So it'll soak for a little minute and then I'm going to chuck them into this bowl with the other two that I've already put in and then I'm just going to pour any excess mixture over the top. So the next step is to add 600 mils of single cream into this pan that has the lemon balm in it or lemongrass if that's what you're using. Then you want to bring that up to the point where it's just about to boil and then take it off the heat and let it infuse for 15 minutes. Now it's time to separate 8 eggs per trifle to make the custard. I would do this all in one big batch but I feel like 
if I do it in separate batches and if one goes wrong then I can always try again with the second one and if I only have one trifle at the end of the day that's better than none. Then what you want to do is mix together eight egg yolks, some of them got a little bit mushed and I was separating them, and 75 grams of caster sugar so that's just what's left out of your original 400 grams and you want to mix these together like so. So I'll mix these up and then you want to slowly add the um, single cream to this. So I'm ready now to strain, if this will focus, here we go, to strain the uh, cream into the egg yolk and sugar mixture which is just here, it's in a bigger bowl now, which does have a crack, I'm very sad about it because it's one of these kind of old granny bowls um, and I love it. But yes, yeah, so I'm just going to strain the um, cream into this through the sieve so we don't get any bits of um, the lemon balm into it, just like that, so we've got all that left. I'm just going to leave that there because I'm going to use it again for the second lot of cream and then I'm just going to mix all this up and then put it back on the heat in a clean pot um, until it thickens up. So this is the custard, I'm just stirring it over a low heat until it starts to thicken. Just want to be careful because there are obviously egg yolks in here and you don't want it to scramble so just take your time, keep stirring it and just make sure the heat is nice and low. So the custard has thickened and I just poured it over the top of those trifle sponges. Try and get a little shot of the layers here. Now the question is, did anybody spot my mistake? So I'm just heating up the other pan of single cream to make the second batch of custard and I just realised when I took the single cream out of the fridge that I accidentally used double cream for the first um, custard which is fine, it'll just be a really rich custard but I needed that double cream to whip to put on top of the, the trifle so now I'm going to have to go out and buy um, another tub of double cream and um, I'll only have one trifle with cream on top tonight and I'll have to go away and buy double cream tomorrow morning before I have to deliver these trifles. So yeah, so one of them is going to have some awesome custard in it. One of them, they're both going to have awesome custard, just one's going to be particularly creamy. And um, one of them's going to have custard made with single cream, but oh well, accidents happen. And I'm going to go on with making the second batch of custard now. And then I'll come back to you when it's time to whip up the cream on top. So at the moment I have one trifle made with a base layer and custard. I need to let that cool completely before I put any whipped, whipped cream on top because obviously that'll be cold. I don't want it all melting when it goes on to the hot trifle. So once that's completely cool I will whip my remaining double cream and put that on top. And then um, yeah I'll have to buy some more double cream for the second trifle. It's trifle number one. This has the single cream custard. So I've just poured that in. It's really hot right now. Um, so yeah it's still very liquid. So you to let that set and cool down. This is trifle number two which has had the double cream custard put in it. It's been in for a little while. It's starting to kind of set a little bit. Um, looks very nice. So I still have like a good amount of syrup left as well. So what you can do with this is heat it up till it becomes like almost almost kind of caramel coloured and um, you can pour that over the top as a little kind of garnish. So might do that but I'm looking forward to just putting tons of hundreds and thousands all over. So there we go, that's the two trifles so far. So the trifles have been cooling for probably about 45 minutes. 45 minutes to an hour now so um, the first one's cool enough to get the cream on top the second one obviously I don't have any cream for right now because I used double cream for the custard by accident so um, my double cream that I have left it, the recipe does say use 500 mils this is 600 I'm just going to use the whole lot and so I'm just going to pour this into my um, food processor I have this little um, whisk attachment that sits in the top and I'm just going to whisk that up to okay so I'll show you how you want it to be so shadows coming all over this here 
if I take this off and my little things have got stuck in it but you can see it's probably a bit more thick than I'd intended it to be but yeah it's fine so it just started to kind of come together a little bit yeah okay that's probably like stiff peaks to be honest no actually that bit's a bit better but you can see the kind of consistency that it is you can see, in fact you can't really see so much now, but the colour of this custard is a lovely yellow colour. A little bit of the raspberry just bubbled up at the edge there. But obviously the custard gets its colour from the egg yolks and it's very nice. So I'm just going to scoop lots of cream on top. Try and do this one handed because I haven't balanced the camera anywhere. Just dollop this on and then I'm just going to spread it all around and make it look fancy. So I've just kind of smushed the cream on top, um, a bit kind of messily but it doesn't matter, it's going to get messy where it's going anyway. And so for the final touch I've just opened up my little hundreds and thousands here. And I'm going to just sprinkle them all over and make it look very fancy.